Hello mga kawawmat! In this video lesson, we will discuss the continuation about circles. But this time, we focus on the general form of the equation of a circle, write the equations in standard form, and find the center and radius of the circle. But before we proceed to our discussion, don't forget to like our videos and subscribe na rin kayo. The general form of the equation of a circle is x squared plus y squared plus dx plus ey plus f is equal to 0. So, paano ba nangyari ito? So, from standard form of the equation of a circle, i-derive natin yung general form of the equation of a circle. So, kung babalikan natin, so from the standard form of the equation of a circle to general form of the equation of a circle. So, given the equation of a circle, so ang una natin gagawin, expand natin yung square of binomial. So, paano ba tayo nag expand ng square of binomial? So, first, minumultiply natin yung first term. So, x times x, that is x squared. And then, multiply yung first and last term natin, multiply it by 2. No, pagka multiply natin ito, imumultiply natin sa 2. So, x times negative h, that is negative xh, times 2, so that is negative 2hx. And last, so multiply uh, the last term twice, so negative h times negative h, that is positive h squared. So same process sa y minus k squared. So x plus y squared minus 2ky plus k squared is equal to r squared. So, after nito, after nito, we are going to combine and then simplify all the terms. But this time, so let, so ang gagawin muna natin, ang gagawin lang natin class, combine muna natin yung mga terms and then i-arrange natin. So, after natin ma-arrange, so that is x squared plus y squared minus 2hx minus 2ky plus h squared plus k squared is equal to r squared. And then, lipat natin si r squared dito sa left side. Okay? So, magiging squared plus y squared minus 2hx minus 2ky plus h squared plus k squared minus r squared is equal to 0. So, if d is equal to negative 2h and e is equal to negative 2k, so let d is equal to negative 2h, and e is equal to negative 2k, and f is equal to h squared plus k squared minus r squared. So, papalitan natin ito. So, ang mangyayari, so yung x squared plus y squared, and then yung negative 2h x natin, magiging plus dx na. Kasi pinalitan natin, no, inequal natin yung negative 2h sa d. So, that is plus dx. And then, same with negative 2k plus ey. So, ito pinalitan natin negative 2k ng e. So, that is plus ey plus yung h squared plus k squared natin minus r squared. Pinalitan natin ng f. So, from the standard form of the equation of the circle to general form of the equation of a circle. So, write the general equation of a circle with center of 4 and negative 1 and a radius of 7 units. So, mag-start tayo sa standard form ng circle. So, yung h natin dito is positive 4 and yung k natin is negative 1. And the radius 7 units or r is equal to 7. So, from the standard form of the equation of the circle, is substitute natin yung value ng h natin and k at the same time, yung radius natin. Since yung h natin is positive, so magiging x minus 4 squared plus yung k natin is negative 1. So, negative times negative 1, that is positive 1. So, y plus 1 squared is equal to yung radius natin is 7, so that is 7 squared. So, 7 squared, that is 49y so, 7 times 7 is 49. So, after nito, expand natin yung square of binomial. So, expand lang natin yung square of binomial natin. So, x minus 4 squared, that is x times x, that is x squared. x times negative 4, negative 4x times 2, that is negative 8x plus. 
negative 4 times negative 4, that is positive 16. So, same sa uh, yung gagawin sa y plus 1 squared. So, y times y, that is y squared. y times 1, that is 1y or y na lang, times 2, that is 2y, plus 1 times 1, that is 1. Copy 49. And then, after that, uh, anong gagawin? Arrange lang natin yung terms. So, i-arrange natin yung terms to general form. So, maging x squared plus y squared minus 8x plus 2y plus, so simplify natin ito. So, lipat natin yung 49 dito sa left side natin. So, 17y, so 16 plus 1, that is 17 minus 49. So, from here, so nilipat natin, so kaya nagbago yung sign. E equals to 0. So, simplify 17 minus 49, that is negative 32. So, the general equation of a circle is x squared plus y squared minus 8x plus 2y minus 32 equals to 0. So, ang gagawin nyo lang, sundan nyo lang yung general form. No, yung arrangement ng general form ng equation ng circle. So, mula sa standard form, square lang natin yung binomial and then arrange natin yung terms para maging general equation or in general form the equation of the circle. Next is write x squared plus y squared plus 6x minus 7 equals to 0 standard form. So kabalik tara na to. From general form to standard form. So paano natin gagawin? So this time class irerecall -re natin yung natutunan niyo during grade 9. How to solve quadratic equation by completing the square. So, paano natin ginagawa yun, no? How to solve uh, quadratic equation by completing the square. From the given, we have x squared plus y squared plus 6x minus 7. So, ang gagawin muna natin, i-group natin yung x terms natin at y, y terms. Since dito, uh, dalawa yung x terms natin, so pagsamahin natin. So, x squared plus 6x plus y squared is equal to 7. So, mula dito, pagsasamahin natin yung x squared plus 6x, ang gagawin nyo class, lalagyan nyo ng blank sa dulo. Kasi, ipiperform natin yung completing the square. So, paano ba ginagawa yung completing the square? Itong middle term natin, okay, yung middle term natin, i-divide natin by 2. I e divide by 2, tapos yung sagot is squared natin. So, 6 divided by 2, the answer is 3. Tapos, is squared natin yung sagot natin na 3. So, 3 times 3, that is 9. So, kung anong sagot natin, dun sa in-squared natin, yan yung idadagdag natin dito. Okay? Para makompleto itong, ano na to, quadratic equation natin. So, yung quadratic natin. So, x squared plus 6x plus 9. So, plus 9. So, ang gagawin class, kung nag-add tayo ng 9 dito sa left side ng equation natin, magdadagdag din tayo ng 9 doon sa right side ng equation natin. Tatandaan. So, after natin, paghiwalayin yung x squared plus 6x, pinorform natin yung completing the square para malaman natin kung anong idadagdag natin dito para maging perfect squared trinomial na to. So, yung sagot natin, dinagdag natin dito, idadagdag nyo rin dun sa right side. Okay? So, ito ngayon class ay perfect squared trinomial na. So, pag perfect squared trinomial, pwede natin gawing square of binomial to. Paano gawin yon? Ano yung uh, sagot nung dinivide natin sa 2? Yung 6, that is 3. Since positive yung sign, so pag ginawa natin square of binomial to, magiging x plus 3 squared plus, copy lang natin yung y squared, then 7 plus 9 is equal to 16. So, ito ngayon ang standard form ng equation natin. So, again, uh, para maging square of binomial ito, kung ano yung dinivide nyo kanina, at in squared, yun yung ilalagay natin. So, since 3 yon so maging x plus 3 squared, plus, copy nyo lang, and then, yung sum nito, that will be our standard form. Another example, write x squared plus y squared minus 4x plus 18y plus 35 is equal to 0 is in standard form. Again, so mula dito, 
pagsasamahin natin, i-group natin yung x terms and y terms natin, no? And yung constant. So, pagsasamahin natin, since yung constant natin is 35, so ilipat na agad natin doon sa right side. So, positive 35, so maging negative 35. Again, mula dun sa given natin, pagsasamahin natin, i-group natin yung x terms natin at yung y terms. And then, after nito, after natin mag-group, lalagyan natin ng blank sa dulo para alam natin kung ano yung i-add natin para makomplete natin ito. Okay, by completing the square, so kagaya ng ginawa kanina sa example number 2, i-divide yung middle term natin sa 2, so that is negative 4 divide 2, the answer is negative 2, tapos squared natin, negative 2 times negative 2, that is positive 4. So, ibig sabihin, positive 4 yung idadagdag natin dito, at magdadagdag rin tayo dito ng positive 4 sa uh, right side natin. Next, dito naman sa y terms natin, so 18 divide 2, that is 9, so 9 squared, 9 times 9, 81. So, ibig sabihin, ang idadagdag natin dito is 81, at magdadagdag rin tayo ng 81. So, parang ganito ang mangyayari, class. So, dinagdag natin yung 4, dinagdag natin yung 81, and then, dito rin sa right side. Idadagdag rin natin yung 4, saka yung 81. Then, after that, mula sa... Since perfect squared trinomial na ito, gagawin natin square of binomial. So, kung ano yung sagot natin kanina, di ba negative 2 yun? So, maging x minus 2 squared plus, so 9. So, y plus 9 squared is equal to negative 35 plus 4, that is negative 31 plus 81, that is 50. So, ito na ngayon ang standard form ng equation ng circle natin. The quantity of x minus 2 squared plus the quantity of y plus 9 squared is equal to 50. Another example, what is the center and the radius of the circle? So this time, ang hinahanap naman, given yung general form ng equation ng circle natin, ang hinahanap is yung center and radius of the circle. So x squared plus y squared minus 6x minus 10y plus 18 is equal to 0. So, ang unang gagawin, i-group natin yung terms natin, yung x term, saka y term, saka yung constant. So, itong constant natin na 18, ilipat na natin sa right side. So, maging negative 18. Then, after that, gawin natin yung completing the square. So, paano ulit ginagawa? I-divide natin yung middle term natin sa 2. Negative 6 divide 2, the answer is negative 3. Squared natin, negative 3 times negative 3, that is positive 9. And then dito sa y terms natin, so negative 10 divide 2, the answer is negative 5. Negative 5 times negative 5, the answer is positive 25. So yung 9 saka 25, idadagdag natin yan dito at ganun din dun sa right side natin, right side ng equation. So magiging x squared minus 6x plus 9 plus y squared minus 10y plus 25 is equal to Negative 18, so ito yon plus 9, saan galing yung 9, yung nandito, idadagdag natin dyan, tapos yung 25, idagdag din natin. So, from square, o oh, a perfect square trinomial, gawin natin square of binomial. So, maging x. Quantity of x minus 3 squared plus the quantity of y minus 5 squared is equal to 16. So, and after that, since hindi pa ito yung radius natin, So, ang gagawin natin is square root pa natin si 16. So, ano yung square root ng 16 natin? So, that is 4. So, ibig sabihin, x minus 3, uh, the quantity of x minus 3 squared plus y minus 5 squared is equal to 4. So, yung center natin, since yung hinahanap natin dito is yung center at yung radius natin, So, yung center natin, magbabago lang naman to ng sign. Diba? Yung H natin, positive. Tapos, yung K natin, positive din. So, 3, 5, yung center natin. And then, yung radius natin ay 4. So, ganun ang gawin natin kapag given yung general form ng circle at kukunin natin yung center and radius. So, sundan lang yung proseso na to. 
So, another example, finding the center and radius of the circle given the general form of the equation of the circle. So, medyo, uh, ano na to, medyo challenging yung ano natin, given. Kasi meron tayong, con ay may coefficient na kasama yung x squared natin sa yung y squared. So, 4x squared plus 4y squared plus 12x minus 4y minus 90 is equal to 0. Since uh, mapapansin natin class, yung bawat term natin, yung bawat coefficient, pwede natin i-divide by 4 para mas bumaba, no? Mawala yung coefficient dito sa x squared saka sa y squared natin. So, yun muna palang gawin natin. I-divide muna natin yung equation natin sa 4. So, 4x squared divide 4, that is x squared na lang. So, maka-cancel yung 4. 4y squared divide 4, so y squared na lang may e1. 12x divide 4, that is 12 divide 4, that is 3x. Negative 4y divide 4, so negative y is equal to 90 divide 4, so that is 90 over 4. So, itong ngayon ang gagamitin nating equation. So, pagsasamahin natin yung x terms natin, so that is x squared plus 3x plus blank, and then y squared minus y plus blank is equal to 90 over 4. So, ang mangyayari, gawin, nat gawin ulit natin yung completing the square. So, 3 divide 2. So, that is 3 over 2, no? And then, squared natin. 3, 3 times 3, that is 9. 2 times 2, that is 4. So, yung 3 over 2 squared is equal to 9 over 4. And then, sa kabila, negative 1 over 2, that is negative 1 half. Negative 1 half squared, so that is positive 1 fourth. So, ang idadag, uh, yung i-add natin dito is 9 over 4. Dito naman, 1 fourth. So, same din do sa right side natin. So, dadagdag natin yung 9 over 4 and then yung 1 fourth. So, magiging x squared plus 3x plus 9 over 4 plus y squared minus y plus 1 fourth is equal to 90 over 4 plus 9 over 4 plus 1 over 4. So, kapag nag-add tayo ng fraction with same denominator, so madali lang to Add natin lang yung numerator natin. Divide it by 4. So, 90 plus 9, that is 99 plus 1, 100. 100 divide 4, the answer is 25. So, gawin natin square of binomial to. So, x plus 3 over 2 squared. So, ito lang yon. Kung ano yung nandito, yan yung ilalagay nyo dyan. y minus 1 half squared is equal to 25. Since hindi pa tong radius na hinahanap natin, is kunin pa natin yung square root ni 25. So, square root ni 25 is 5. So, ibig sabihin... The quantity of x plus 3 over 2 squared plus the quantity of y minus 1 half squared is equal to 5. So, yung center natin ay negative 3 over 2. Okay, take, uh, take note sa sign plus ha, kasi positive ito. So, ibig sabihin yung h natin dito is negative. So, negative 3 over 2. And then, yung y natin is positive 1 half. So, yung radius natin is 5. So, yan yung paano natin kunin yung, cent uh, yung center at radius ng circle given the general form of the equation of a circle. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button para updated kayo for more video tutorial. This is your guide in learning your math lesson, your WOW Math channel.